Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how we make our coffee. All right, so if you know me very well, you might know that I love coffee. I feel like you could probably tell me just about anything about coffee and its negative effects on health and I probably would still drink it. I could give up sugar, meat, probably just about anything, but every morning I'm going to sit down and have my morning cup of coffee. If you're a coffee lover like myself, you totally understand this. And if you're not, you're probably thinking, she's just being dramatic. She does not have to have coffee. If you aren't a coffee lover, I'm definitely not trying to convert you to one. You're probably better off just staying away from it altogether. But if you, like me, have been drinking a daily cup of coffee since about age 16 probably, uh, you're never gonna stop anyway, so you might as well make the best coffee possible. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So I've been drinking coffee for many years, and it's only been in the last five years that I've made it this way. It just completely changes the game. You would not believe if you drink like Mr. Coffee coffee or a Keurig coffee, how much better this is, I can't even tell you. The keys to making the best coffee are one, you have to get whole beans. Even if it's been ground over a week ago, you can totally taste the difference once you get used to it. So no Keurigs, no Mr. Coffee. I'm telling you, you will completely agree if you start drinking coffee this way. Normally we get the Aldi Organic Fair Trade coffee. It's less than $5. I think it might even be less than $4 for a 12 ounce bag and it's just the best. You know how Aldi kind of puts everything out on the shelves, not stocked, but just in the box that it comes in. I will usually just buy the whole box and put it up in my pantry because we'll keep it for however long it takes to drink it and we'll have to go back or run out of coffee. Now, believe it or not, that is the coffee we drink, but today I don't have any. Today is our Aldi run. We have an empty fridge, empty pantry, everything's completely empty. So here I have some whole beans from Costa Rica. My parents just went to Costa Rica and brought me back this. And then my aunt brought me some locally roasted coffee from a company called Blueprint. As long as it is whole bean coffee and it's around a medium roast, to me it all tastes amazing. So I don't like dark roast, to me it just tastes burnt. And I also don't like a blonde roast. I feel like the flavors aren't fully developed. This is of course just my preference. I'm showing you how we make the best coffee, but you might like coffee a little bit differently than us. The key is freshly grinding those coffee beans and it sounds like that would be such a chore, but it takes an extra 30 seconds. And for how much I love the taste of coffee, it is 30 seconds well spent. We have a pretty old coffee bean grinder. It still works great. Uh, at some point we will probably upgrade to one. I'll leave a link to a newer model of the version we have, which is the Braun coffee grinder in the description below. Then just add the whole beans. Now these, of course, have the most amazing smell. Now I like to fill it up to about just below the top. Now if you get it too full, they won't all go to the bottom and grind up. The key with a French press is that you don't want them as finely ground as the ground coffee that you can buy from the store that's pre-ground. You wanna leave them a little bit coarser because when you push down the center part of the French press, you don't want any of the grinds going back up through the filter. So you do use a little bit more beans when you freshly grind it and use a French press, but it's really worth it. Now to achieve this coarser ground coffee, you're gonna to wanna to just do several pulses instead of grinding it all at one time. Next step is to Get some water going in a kettle. Now we of course use Berkey water filter water. I have a video all about that. So I will link it in the description below. We fill this about a fourth of the way up with Berkey water filter water, get it boiling, and then just add the fresh ground coffee to the French press and then fill it up to almost the top. If you fill it up all the way to the top, when you go to put this center part down into it, it will spill out the top. So you don't wanna do it all the way full. And then just give it a little stir. You'll find that the coffee beans want to rise back up to the top and you need to encourage them to kind of submerge. After that, I always put the top part back in, 
push it down a touch just to get the coffee beans to stay below the water surface and then let it sit for four or five minutes. Now I know some people get really particular about all of this, this whole step. We just push it down and let it sit for a little bit and it always tastes amazing. Now I'm usually ready to drink coffee so sometimes I might snag a little bit around three minutes, two minutes, I don't know. But if you let it sit a little bit longer, it'll be awesome. Okay, so we have two different French presses. One is this 12 cup glass French press. And then we also have a stainless steel double wall six cup French press. So I will go into the pros and cons of each of these in a minute. We do two full coffee grinders full. So as far up as I showed you twice, but then for the six cup, we just do one. Here's the pros and cons of these. This one we actually have had sitting up in the pantry for a long time and never really use it because it's not enough coffee for the two of us for all morning. Now it's almost right, but we always just find ourselves wanting a little bit more. It's advertised as a six cup, but trust me, it's not. We don't each drink three cups. It really does about one good size cup of coffee per person. And then this one, just a little bit too much. Uh, this would be about two full cups per person. We never drink that much coffee. Then once it sits around all day, it's not really that the greatest in the afternoon. And we sometimes like to make a little coffee in the afternoon, but we want fresh coffee. So this we find to be a little bit wasteful. One time, this one was full of grinds from the day before and we did one of us didn't want to go clean it out and so we grabbed this one out of the pantry and then we realized why this one was so awesome we had been using this one for a really long time the reason is the double wall stainless steel keeps the coffee warm for hours so we were finding that this one after we were sitting down for about 10 minutes in the morning sipping our coffee that we were always having coffee that was cold which we just dealt with but once we accidentally threw this one back into the rotation, we realized that you could sip coffee all morning and it'd still be warm. So I think what we're going to end up doing is buying the eight cup version of this. But for now, this is what we're using. It's just about perfect. We always want a tad bit more, but it works out. And we love that it stays warm all morning. The key to the best coffee is fresh cream. So if you have access to a local dairy where you can get non-homogenized milk that you can skim the cream right off the top, you would not believe how much better coffee is. I used to be the kind of person who only drank my coffee black until I tried fresh cream. Now, if you don't have access to that, any kind of heavy whipping cream will do. Do not use half and half, skim, whole, anything like that. It has to be heavy cream or just drink it black. But I promise you, if you drink French press coffee with freshly ground beans and whole heavy whipping cream, you will never go back to any other coffee. It is the best taste in the entire world. I just love it way too much. It is my favorite food drink of all time ever. Since I'm a mom, I get some frequently asked questions. One is, do I drink coffee while pregnant? Uh, I gave up coffee with my first and second, but by the third, as an experienced mom, you know, I slowly introduced it back in just to see what would happen. By the fourth, I was drinking my cup every morning. Now, I did not drink it in the afternoon and I limited my caffeine, whereas like right now, I will drink two cups a day. I limited it, but I don't think it had any effects. My third born was eight pounds, seven ounces. My fourth was eight pound, 10 ounces. And my fifth was eight pounds, 11 ounces. They were all term, healthy, good size, healthy all through their first year. Now this is not me advocating that at all. So definitely talk to your doctor. There are mixed reviews on this. Some people say do not drink coffee during pregnancy. It can increase the risk of miscarriage. So that might be true. So definitely don't take my word for it at all. I'm just answering the question that I get asked. Did you drink coffee? while pregnant and breastfeeding, and yes, I sure did. All right, I'm ready to enjoy this steaming hot, fresh cup of coffee, Ugh, nothing better. Now you might notice that I like an outlandish amount of cream. I told you that when I discovered that heavy whipping cream tastes good in coffee that I was sold. Probably one fifth of the coffee is heavy whipping cream, so just try it, you'll see. I will leave links in the description below for all of our coffee supplies, so the grinder, the newer model, as well as the French presses that we have and then the one that we're planning to buy which is going to be the lined stainless steel in the eight cup but for now we have the six cup and it totally works great. 
probably until something breaks, we won't really replace it. I will also leave a link for this adorable mug that I found online and let me know in the comments below how you like to enjoy your coffee or if you do or if you learn anything new from this. We like our coffee pretty strong. We don't like coffee that tastes like tea and the French press is the best way to achieve the level of strength that you want if you like dark coffee as well. Sometimes we drink bulletproof coffee as well when we're out of cream, but this is definitely my preference. But I'll share a tutorial sometime for how I make the bulletproof coffee. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Thank you.